Kent State came in as the four seed. So they are definitely having their medal tested here on this first day of nationals. Has to lose. It's unfortunate that it was Kent, since you are a Kent State alumni, but they got to keep their the best game of this round, and I feel like one of our better games overall. These are two, uh, I think, pretty evenly matched teams, it seems like. Yeah, I watched Maryland play Ohio State, and they held ball control really well against Ohio State. Uh, I mean, Ohio State's a team that just took JMU to overtime, so it's going to be a good battle. For sure. So we are underway here. Looks like um, no kills off the opening rush. One kill. One kill off the opening rush. Number 21 going down for the University of Maryland. I believe uh, for University of Maryland is one of the best arms in the league. I think John Shaw actually caught him a top five arm in the entire NCDA. Definitely the best arm for Maryland. So he is definitely a player to watch, number seven for Maryland. He won't be hard to spot. He's wearing the pink shoes. There he is. Alex, it definitely seems like this is one of those games where exhaustion has reached its uh, full limit. These teams running on fumes right now, it seems like. Yeah, I mean, uh, we saw them both when they were warming up, and it was definitely a, for lack of a better word, a lackluster warm-up. So I can't imagine actually playing three dodgeball games in one day. Uh, I'm right there with you. I am beat. So many, many hours of relaxation in our future, but for now, uh, pretty much a stalemate, I would say, as both teams have retired one player from the other team, and uh, and what we like to call that kind of period where they're filling each other out right now, just seeing what's what. Uh, Matal looks like took out, uh, can't tell who that is for Kent State, but Kent State loses a player there. A little bit of readjusting here as we better form a more logical booth order. This game, because of the fatigue at this point, is coming true, right? Yeah, yeah it, they, they look exhausted. It's been a long day. Some of the guys played some kickball outside. I saw a kickball game break out. Was that, uh, who were they playing in that game? Uh, well, I was a part of it. My shirt was off. It was Maryland and Kent versus Townsend and Saginaw Valley. Maryland and Ken won the kickball game, so it's kind of interesting that they're playing each other now. Do you feel like your shirt being off may have helped your performance in the kickball game? It did. It was blinding the Saginaw and Townsend players when they were trying to catch foul balls. I mean, my skin was just so reflective. It worked to our advantage. Well, that's really good of you to take one for the team. Maybe not even a sacrifice for you, though, because... As we all know, you do like to show off the bod from time to time. I've been working on it repeatedly for months now, and it's coming along slowly. It's repeatedly for months, like once or twice, like in the past six months? Yeah, it's uh, a keep uh, starting and finishing process, and the motivation isn't there. <laughs> Never really stays going once it gets going, unfortunately.
So once again, these teams even as we resume play. 11 on 11 with four players in jail for each team. 20 minutes left on the clock here in this first half. So these teams continue to trade punches with no ground being gained for either one. I think Maryland got their first win against Kent State ever this, earlier this year. If people remember, Kent State introduced Maryland, Townsend, and JMU to the league back in 2012. And Kent State had a good winning record against them for, I think, two two, maybe almost three years against all three of those teams. None of them could beat Kent. And then finally, the experience has gotten with all these young teams. Yeah, it seems like those are three teams that have really progressed very well. They have. Unfortunately, you see a lot of those young teams peter out, but that's a good, that's a good crop right there. Yeah, they're very strong right now. JMU has probably one of the best structures of recruiting players and maintaining a team that I've seen. They're right up there with Grand Valley. I was going to say, they seem like the Hope is that we might see uh, a national tournament in the near future. Seems like we're at a point now with the East Coast teams to where they've arrived and it's time to reward that experience with a national tournament. I would expect the Dukes to put in their bid. I thought they put in one last year and I thought they lost out. That's Maryland. Was it Maryland? Maryland lost out to WK. I would think one of those two teams would put in another bid this year and keep trying, and they're going to keep trying to get it. Why wouldn't they? Shorter drive for them. <laughs> um, we now, Ryan, let me ask you, have you played at uh, DePaul before? I have played at DePaul a few times. Talk a little about their facilities. That's a name I've heard bandied about a lot for Nationals. What would that setup be like with that many teams on campus? DePaul would be a great place to play. The problem with DePaul is hotel staying. And it's five, six hours. I mean, which is just about the same distance Kent travels to WKU. But it's just farther for East Coast teams, and they're just not centralized. Yeah, it seems like uh, the logistics would be a little more difficult with, like you said, it may a little harder to find a reasonably priced hotel that's probably close to campus. Yeah, I would think a lot of people would actually probably end up staying maybe almost an hour outside of Chicago and having to drive into Chicago in the morning just because the prices of a hotel is going to be that much cheaper an hour outside. Which, when you factor in Chicago morning rush hour traffic, it seemed like you'd probably have to put the tournament starting about maybe... 10 o'clock in the morning so that you give those teams plenty of time to get in in the morning. Yeah, that's probably what you would have to do. You have to start it later and that it, people are just going to have to know it's going to go later. I mean, I've been to Chicago. I'm going back to May Day. It's awesome. Food there is great. There's so much fun. It's clean. <laughs> I think the big appealing part of that kind of tournament would be that it's Chicago. It's the name. It's the best host city. It's putting out number 21. 